Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Johan Duplessy. This is an introduction to the Plate Girder design module. I will first discuss the input required. Next, we'll look at the analysis output. And lastly, perusing the calculations in the calc sheet. I will start by entering a title. The shape of a flexural member's bending moment diagram influences its lateral torsional stability. The design codes use different design factors to accommodate this phenomenon. The entered support width is used to calculate local buckling and crushing of the girder's web at every support. You can specify whether the program should calculate and add the girder's own weight in the analysis. You can choose to make either end of the girder pinned, fixed or free. There is also an option to add an actual force. Next is the girder sections. You can define a variety of eye sections by entering the dimensions for the web and top and bottom flanges. If different grades of steel are used for the flanges and web, you should enter the appropriate yield strengths for each. Each section should be given a unique number for easy reference when defining the girder. In this example, I will have two sections. Next, I will define the various spans of the different sections. The plate girder is entered as one or more continuous segments. Up to 20 segments may be defined by entering the following values in the section lengths input table. Next, I will enter the loads. Applied loads may comprise a variety of distributed loads, point loads and moments. Entering a UDL. Entering point loads, entering a moment. Lastly, I will enter the lateral supports. By clicking on view output, the program does the analysis. I can view the deflected shape of the plate girder, ultimate limit state bending moment diagram, ultimate limit state shear force diagram, bending stresses at ultimate limit state, the shear stresses at ultimate limit state together with the shear force capacity for various web stiffness spacings. The actual stresses are shown in red and the shear capacities in blue. Lastly, we can look at the calc sheet. The design results of all tasks are grouped on a calc sheet for printing. The calc sheets include a data file for easy recalling of the analysis data. The design output shows the complete interaction formula with zero values for bending moments about the minor axis. If required, the output equations can be edited to include bending about the minor axis. To edit an equation, select it in the calc sheet, right click it and choose edit. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.